Hello Miss May. My name is Dr. Sri Pratap Mohanamurthy. I am one of the doctors working in the team. I understand that you wanted to know more about DBT and I am here to answer your questions and explain what it is. I am here to explain what the treatment involves and also address some of the other questions you have raised. So what is DBT? The term DBT stands for Dialectical Behavior Therapy. DBT is a form of talking therapy. DBT is based on Cognitive Behavioral Therapy also called as CBT but it is adapted for people who have intense emotions and it aims to help people understand themselves and their emotions. The word dialectical means trying to understand how two things that seem quite opposite could both be true. For example, a, a person accepting themselves and changing their behavior might feel contradictory. DBT teaches that it is possible to achieve both of these goals at the same time. DBT is mainly used for people with a diagnosis of emotionally unstable borderline personality disorder but it is also used for people who have prominent problems with uh, self-harming and suicidal thoughts. It is also used in other diagnoses like depressive disorders or complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Let's see how does it work. The treatment aims to help people accept and understand themselves and their difficult feelings, learn new skills to cope better and therefore become less troublesome and more manageable. It also helps people use these new skills and understandings to make positive changes in their lives. Now let us see what does it involve. If someone is referred for dialectical behavior therapy, they usually have a pre-treatment assessment session to check that DBT would be suitable for them and also to ensure that they understand what it will involve and that they can commit to this treatment. Once treatment starts, DBT classically involves weekly sessions with an individual therapist lasting for around 45 to 60 minutes. They will also have weekly group training sessions which focus on skills more than talking about personal life experiences. A workbook often supports these group sessions to help reinforce these skills that have been taught and also to give the individual some homework outside of the sessions such as completing a mood diary etc. Worksheets can also be part of this. As some individuals can find DBT challenging, <clears throat> therapists can offer phone check-ins between the sessions so that they can address any urgent concerns or queries. It's worth mentioning that the way DBT can be offered can vary between areas and some do not offer the classical version and it can be modified depending on what the service can provide. Now let's see what happens during the sessions. During individual sessions, people are often asked to talk about their goals and things that may be getting in the way of these such as problems with their mental health symptoms, relationships and issues from the past. Thoughts about self-harm and suicide if they are present are also often addressed in these sessions and sometimes new positive skills can be introduced. Group training sessions are less about talking about people's problems and more about learning positive skills to manage difficult emotions and situations. Most people find the group part of treatment more valuable as they can feel less alone with their problems 
and they feel more understood. There are four main skills which are taught during this session. The first one is called as distress tolerance. This involves understanding and managing your emotions in difficult or stressful situations in a positive way. The second important skill is called as interpersonal effectiveness training. This involves understanding how to ask for what you want and your needs and setting effective boundaries. The third important technique is called as core mindfulness training. This involves being fully aware and focused in the present instead of worrying about the past or the future. And the fourth important technique is called as emotion regulations training. This involves understanding, being aware of and having more control over your emotions. These are the four important main skills taught in DBT and it is also abbreviated as DICE, D-I-C-E. D stands for distress tolerance. I stands for interpersonal effectiveness training. C stands for core mindfulness training and E stands for emotion regulation training. Now let's see how many sessions are there in a course of treatment. The course of treatment is often around 6 to 12 months. So around 50 to 100 sessions as there are both weekly individual and group sessions. But all this can vary depending on the length of treatment in a given area. Some people ask if the treatment can be delivered individually and without any group work. DBT can be delivered on an individual basis too if necessary but again this will depend upon the availability of therapists trained in it. So far I've explained the principles of DBT, the important techniques and skills used in DBT, also about how the sessions are structured etc. I hope you found this information useful. I'll also offer you some information leaflets about DBT. Please go through them and if you have any questions, please get back to me. Thank you for listening.